Hi, I'm Tom. Um, and today I'm training to do my skid therapy. And this is Jean. She's going to help me. Hi, Thomas. How are you? Good. <laughs> um, first of all, what we'll do while we're preparing for the infusion is to make sure that we've got everything we need. Mm -hmm. um, so with the product itself, can you lift up the product and have a look to make sure that it's got the expiry dates within date? Yep. That the protective cap's still in place? Yep. And that the solutions are clear? Yep. Excellent. The other thing we'll do before we start is just check you've got all your equipment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just read off here. So the first few times you do it at home until you're quite used to it, I just um, hope that you would read through and make sure you've got everything before you start. Yep. It'll just make it easier. So you've got the immunoglobulin and it's at room temperature, so it's been kept out for about an hour. Mm -hmm. You've got your spring infuser. Yep. You've got your syringe and infusion set there. Yep. You've got your needle to draw up with, the 19 gauge. Yep. You've got your Nerea needles, today we're using the bifurcated one, mm -hmm. and a Sharps container, which you'll have at home. Yep. And the alcohol wipes. Yep. And your treatment diary. Right here. Beautiful, now we can get started. <laughs> So the first thing we'll do, Tom, is remove the um, peel-off batch labels and put them in your treatment diary. Okay. Here. Yeah, that's great. Just put them underneath each other's fine. And then we'll just correlate it that you've had the two at once. Is it not wanting to come in? There we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Well done. That's great. If you don't remember to do it at the beginning of the infusion, it's actually written in the process again at the end as a reminder. <laughs> okay, Thomas, so just time to wash and dry your hands before we start. Yep. Thank you. Uh, the next steps to remove the blue caps off the immunoglobulin and to write, wipe them with the alcohol wipe. Well done. Thanks, Tom. Okay, Tom, the next bit's just getting the needle mm -hmm. out of the packet and putting it into the syringe. Now, remember when we were talking before, we just thought it was a good idea once you've screwed the needle in just to draw back a bit of air before yep. you put it into the immunoglobulin, just because it's so viscous, it's easier to draw it back out again. Mm -hmm. So screw it on and then a little bit of air into the syringe. Yeah, 10 or 15 mils is great. And I'd actually grab the, yeah, that's great. I'd grab the 20 mil one, which is at the front first, and fill that with air. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah, fill it with air, and then pull it back. It might take a few minutes for it to all come out, because of the viscosity. Beautiful. And just pull the, the needle down a little bit on the steps away. Beautiful. And as you get close to the bottom, you might need to pull it out a little bit further. Very good. Does that look like it's 20 mils in there? Yep. Yep, beautiful. So you can take that one off. And then you can grab the other syringe. We don't need a new needle for that because it hasn't touched anything. Super You're right, no, just one. keep hold of it, yep. Let's put it back in. 
So there's 30 mils in total in this one. Is that one coming out easy as well? Yep. Yeah, great. Expert. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now what we need to do is just join the nearer needle to the giving set. Mm -hmm. So white always goes to the nearer needle. That's correct. Right. Excellent. And then we can join the blue cap end to the syringe. So just take the blue cap off, Tom. It won't matter what... Um, what sequence you do this in as long as you get a line with the okay. um, immunoglobulin already in the syringe. Okay, so now we'll just prime the line. Um, the difficulty with this is actually watching where the product's going to be, Tom. So if you can, just watch it um, go through as you're infusing it. And if you just do that a little bit slowly, you'll see where it is. And we just want it to come about a centimetre or two before the needles at the end that you've got in your other hand, which is great. That's a good way to hold it. That's good. You can see where it is? Yep. Well done. Yeah, I think it's the only way to do it is actually watch it as you go. Look, if there's a little bit of air in the line and things like that, that doesn't matter either. It's not an issue. I can see it coming up to the two little ones now. It's mm -hmm. in here. So anywhere up to where your fingers yep. are is great. Okay, Tom, we're up to cleaning the site at the moment. So just where you've decided you're going to put the two needles, just with mm -hmm. an alcohol wipe, and then we'll place the area needle in. I always find when you use an alcohol wipe, it's nice just to let it dry for a second. Mm -hmm. Pinch an inch, 90 degrees. Straight in. Okay, and just beautiful. Great work. We'll grab the other one. Remove the adhesive backing. And the needle guard. Grabbing another inch if you can. Pinch an inch. About five centimetres apart, so maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay, now we're just going to do the double check to make sure that we're not in a blood vessel, Tom. So the first thing you need to do is just draw back in the needle. So hold the, hold the syringe, plunge the syringe back. Yep. Okay, and then we'll disconnect at the needle and I'll count to ten. Sorry, disconnect at the syringe that would be. And just hold it up so you don't lose any, turn it up so you don't lose any product. Okay. Now I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll just make sure there's no blood at either side. No. Okay, so we're not in a blood vessel, so now it's time to reconnect and then put into the spring fuser pump. Okay, so last step before it starts loading is we load the syringe into the spring fuser. So you need to use all your strength to push back on that and then we'll use a push and turn technique. So push as hard as you can. If you can't do it all, you might want to push from that right? at the top. Mm -hmm. Push all the way down 
and then turn when you get it below. Turn, no, push, keep pushing. That's in, turn. Beautiful. We're going. Well done. Okay, Tom, so now it's infusing through. Um, you did really well with the whole process today, so um, when you come back on Monday, I'll get you to do it all on your own mm -hmm. and make sure that you've done it step by step. But I think following the instructions is probably the easiest way to go. We're assuming it'll take about an hour, an hour and a half to infuse through today. Um, and it's a good idea just to check the syringe every now and then to make sure that it is going um, going in. Mm -hmm. And I think also to just to check the side every now and then. We're expecting you to get a bit of redness and a bit of swelling. But if at any time you're feeling unwell, whether you're here or at home, always let someone know because we advise you not to infuse alone. Mm -hmm. Okay.